A great bass line is not only the music's foundation, it's also what gets the party started. But it takes a very repetitive rhythm to get people moving. So in this video, you'll learn a magic hack for writing bass lines that move people without boring them. But first, a quick announcement. Our Black Friday sale is pumping. So head on over to our website if you want 40% off everything. Yes, all our PDFs, our book, Hack Music Theory Part 1, and our bestseller, The Online Apprenticeship Course. Which has been called life-changing numerous times. So are you ready to take your music to new heights? Then get involved now at hackmusictheory.com. But first, <laughs> tea. Hello revolutionary music makers, I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to Hack Music Theory. This channel helps you make great music that stands out so you can get discovered. Alright, it's time to open your door to Hack Music Theory. The Theory. In Karma Field's new track, An Underground System of Forgotten Machines, that just dropped yesterday, the baseline gets your head bobbing before the end of bar one. Literally. Mm -hmm. How? Well, he uses a very clever hack that allows him to deliver the maximum dose of repetition. Because the variation is disguised as repetition. Wait, what? <laughs> Let me explain. He uses the shortest possible rhythmic segment, two notes which he then repeats over two bars. Next, he assigns three pitches to this rhythm. Now, here's where the magic happens. Most other producers would simply loop this two bar bass line and call it a day, but not Karma Fields. He loops only the rhythm, then reassigns the same pitches, but in a different order. Boom. Boom. <laughs> the hack. All right, now you're going to learn how to use this theory to make your own version. And what you see on the screen right now is our version that we made earlier. Step one, repetition. Set up four bars of 4-4 four, four with your grid set to 16th notes and your tempo set to 97 BPM. Common Fields uses the notes D sharp, E and F for his main bass line. So we're going to do something similar but a little different. We'll use F as our root note and Phrygian as our mode. And on that note, or mode, <laughs> if you need help understanding the modes, then check out the modes hack in our songwriting and producing PDF, which contains all our top music making hacks as well. But if you need help with the basics first, then read our free book on scales and chords. Mm -hmm. Both of those are available at hackmusictheory.com. All right, so start by creating a short rhythmic segment using one eighth note and one sixteenth note in whichever order you want. Next, loop those two notes over bar one and you'll be left with a sixteenth note open at the end. And that's where you throw in a couple eighth notes to change things up a bit as you head into bar two. This also creates an awesome syncopation as you don't play the first beat of bar two. Then continue looping your original two note rhythmic segment over bar two. And once again, you'll be left with a 16th note open at the end, but this time, join a 16th note there. And that concludes your two bar rhythm. Mm -hmm. So you can now loop it over bars three and four. Step two, magic. Right, now you're going to assign three pitches to your rhythm. Let's use the root note, which is F, the flat 2, which is G flat, and the flat 7, which is E flat. And here's how you're going to create your contour. Start on the root, then go up, then go back to the root, and then go down. And to make it even more interesting, play the highest and lowest notes twice every time you get to them. So in other words, you're going to start with 1F, then go up to 2G flats, then back down to 1F, and then down to 2E flats. Keep this pattern going for the whole two bar rhythm, like this, and this, and this, and that is your first bass line. Now, here's where the magic drops. In bars three and four, you're gonna turn that contour upside down. So you're gonna start with 1F, then go down to 2E flats, then back up to 1F, and then up to 2G flats. Keep this pattern going for the whole two bar rhythm, like this, and this, and this. <laughs> And that 
is your second baseline. Now, let's uh, keep this between the uh, three of us. But here's how this magic trick works. Your listeners will perceive these two bass lines as being the same because of their shared rhythm and pitches. However, their different contours will prevent them from getting boring. Boom! All right, so now that you got one section down, how do you write another section for it? And then another. <laughs> and then, how do you transition between all your sections, turn it into a song, and finish it? Great questions, and we've got all the answers for you in our online course, which you can save $60 on this weekend. One in, the link is below. Now, let's have a listen to our repetitive bass line that does not get boring. And if you want another magic bass hack involving a polymeter, we've got a video on that coming next. Just click it when it pops up in a few seconds, and we'll meet you there.